What's up guys, hope you're all doing okay. So I just wanna give you a quick update with this Amazon Luna controller as you guys can see here. I did finally figure out how to get it working on the PC uh, without being tethered. If you haven't seen my last review, make sure you click the card up in the corner there. And I, I tried to go into, I did unboxing and try to play some game, try to play Fortnite with it. And it was just, it was a struggle to try to get it to connect Bluetooth. My computer would recognize it as a Looney Gaming Controller. It would even tell me the battery percentage on it, but it would not let me play anything with it, which was extremely frustrating. So I went back and I looked at the little uh, guide that comes in the box. And on the inside, it gives some information. It's, it's probably a little difficult to see there, but it gives you a QR code and it says download the Amazon Luna controller app. So I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe there's a controller app for uh, the PC. And so I get to looking and I cannot for the life of me find anything, any kind of app, any, any, anything. All right. So, um, I keep, keep looking around and try to find something Well, I come across the Amazon Luna, uh, Q and a, and so the Q and a says, um, that, I mean, there's all kinds of different things on there. The, the one that I had a, that I found was connectivity, Bluetooth connectivity issues. And so uh, with the Bluetooth connectivity issues, one of the things was uh, to make sure that the proper drivers were installed on your PC. And I'm thinking, really, out of all the things possible, you, you put the app in here, okay? Uh, you put the Luna app in here and that's, that's great. You can, you've got the QR code. Uh, you know, you can download the controller app. That's cool. The problem is, is that my particular device isn't supported. Uh, and I, I'm assuming a lot of other devices aren't going to be supported as well. So I, I'm not quite sure why they would not include a PC uh, version that something in here that says, hey, update your uh, driver, update the drivers, install the drivers. So, wh what's up with that? Really? No, no, no information of driver. This, this to me, without that driver information, I would have went nuts. I actually, I was already going to turn this back in. I had went and did the RMA so I can return this thing. I like the controller. I think it feels good in the hands. I like the button layout. I, again, it's got plenty of real estate back here to grab onto compared to the Nintendo Switch controller. This is a great controller. The issue was that I could not get it to connect to my computer, but that was supposed to be one of the main things, computer or a tablet or anything with Chrome. Well, apparently not anything because I've got an LG G7 Fit and it doesn't. it's not compatible with that. So, um, I got the drivers installed and finally I can play uh, some Fortnite. So let me turn it on here and make sure that it's going to connect. Okay. All right. So it is connected. You can see just the very top part of that. Um, so I can go back and forth. So let me click on this so you guys can hear the sound in the background. But that's how it's supposed to be. No cords, no tethering, nothing. Um, the difference is, is let me check real quick. I don't think, let me see my output. The difference is, is that when it's not tethered, it does not give you an option on your desktop to set uh, this as an output. So when it's, when it's not tethered to the computer, wireless like this, uh, I, I, believe this is you know let me let me give that a shot because i'm curious i've got my uh oh let me not destroy my whole setup here get my headphone and plug that and plug this i don't think that this will work okay now i think that all my settings in here Let's see, uh, chat output device. Let me go to, yeah, it doesn't give me an option. Default output, yeah. It doesn't give me an option to have that. 
there. So we just leave that how it is. And uh, of course I can't hear anything now that I've unplugged my monitor. There we go. Okay. All right. So now we've got, uh, let's go down here to, uh, I don't know. Let's go to, let's go to mountaintop or something. Um, all right, so you guys can see that it is functioning properly. Like I can, and I can move this all around. Well, that's all it was, and I'll I'll make sure to have uh, put um, a link in the description down below to the drivers. So, in, just in case anybody else has had that issue, but it does work, and I'm thankful because I do like this controller. I do like the shape of this controller. I do, it fits in my hand very good. And uh, so let's come on over here and see how long we can last. I will take that. Thank you very much. All right, let's see what other kinds of junk we can get into. Perfect. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, I was just stuck on a. Oh, that was strange. It's like I was stuck there for a minute. The button stopped working, but I think it was just me. All right. Ooh, we've got a, got a good chest in here somewhere. Nice. Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Get it. Get it. Oh, yes. All kinds of goodies. Merry Christmas to me. Anyway, guys. Um... I'm not going to make you sit around and <laughs> watch me play. I just wanted to uh, give you a quick update to uh, ensure you that the controller does work without cables, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, but anyway, guys, if this um, has helped you at all, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you're not subscribed, make sure you consider subscribing for more tech reviews in the future, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.